Good morning. Um, thanks for joining us for another ferry flight. I'm sorry I couldn't catch up with you uh, early on the flight. It was pretty busy at Morabit. Uh, we got a severe cavalcade day, which means that everybody's flying. Uh, so it was quite busy. Uh, so I couldn't get uh, get some video footage. However, you are catching up with us over the Cardinia Reservoir. Sorry, uh, Yinian Reservoir. And we are on our way to uh, to uh, basically Kilmore Gap and track it through past disappointment here and uh, from there we're going to continue uh, past Bendigo into Swan Hill. Uh, we are flying today at Kelby. This Kelby is going all the way up to Bearsville uh, sometime tomorrow. It's going to be used as a mastering airplane over there. Uh, it is replacing another Fox standard they own a guard that did 2,000 hours and it's time to get another one. Very nicely equipped. This one is a bit unusual. They got yokes, uh, as you can see. Um, the Kelpie and the Vixen can both be equipped either with a yoke or a center stick. And uh, yeah, very nicely. We're cruising at 5,000 and indicating 83, 85 knots. Um, Probably throwing about 80 here, a bit hotter temperature, 2,500, so, yeah, otherwise, lovely, lovely ride, beautiful scenery, and uh, I'll get back to you uh, once we pass the Kilmore. Beautiful day down here. 
uh, maybe 10, 15 knots uh, on, uh, on the ground. Slightly different than forecasted. But... Look over at 9 at Marabin, then at around 11, 20, 11, 30 at uh, Swan Hill filled up and then took off again at uh, midday uh, for another leg. As this time is uh, 220. We'll be losing VHF content in short one identification. And uh, we'll be at the Broken Hill. Otherwise, now you can see it's starting to get a bit drier. Uh, so we we stabilized over uh, Swan Hill on, on climb. We climbed to initially two and a half. There was a bit bumpy, and then uh, kept going to four and a half. There was bumpy too. Uh, temperature here is uh, decreasing quite quickly. So now we are six and a half, and uh, we are basically showing uh, 93 over the ground, which is really good uh, for us. Uh, it is aeroplane, so we are really happy with that. And, uh, yeah, nice and smooth here, so we'll keep going uh, for the rest of the 200 miles, uh, trekking sort of past Robin Vale and uh, when we're for, for carrying and broken health. Welcome back again. This time we're even higher. We are eight and a half thousand feet. Uh, still got uh, 140 miles to run. Broken Hill is to be in uh, Wentworth. And uh, basically full throttle height here. Probably only producing like 55 horsepower anyway. Uh, but uh, truing at 80, which is nice. And uh, grounding at 80, which is also nice. So we have uh, quite a lot of wind, but it is uh, almost direct crosswind. A uh, bit of wind on the ground, you can see some uh, control burning it looks like. And uh, yeah, we just continue uh, being Mongol Lodge over there. You can see the walls of China, might be hard to see on the, on the GoPro, but it's quite pretty. Otherwise, uh, yeah, quite dry here. But nice and smooth, which is good. Three, six. Uh, uh, this is quite exciting. We are top of the sand, Broken Hill. We can see Broken Hill right there. It's very nice. It's uh, 3 o'clock uh, Victoria time, uh, Eastern Standard. So that's pretty good. Uh, so yeah, we flew for 5 hours and 20 minutes, it took us to, to do it, we landed uh, once and filled up at Swan Hill, I filled up with 53 liters, uh, which made a consumption, average consumption of 21.7 uh, liters per hour on this new engine with a fairly high uh, rev, so I could probably Pitch it, uh, suggest it to the owner as well. Uh, depending on what he needs to do, I think this airplane is going to leave most of its time. Uh, it's about 60 knots, uh, about 50 feet off the ground. But uh, for cruising uh, long distances, probably pitch it and uh, get a bit more efficiency. Otherwise, yeah, very pleasant. Um, very pleasant flight. It was fairly smooth till now. And, uh, but otherwise, yeah, we'll spend the night at Broken Hill. And uh, we'll take you again once we land. There's uh, another fox bed here uh, doing some air work uh, in the station as far, which we had on the radio. So that's pretty cool. And there's, uh, there's quite a few. Uh, there's another two vixens that live not too far from Broken Hill. Um, in Broken Hill, there's a large maintenance facility that uh, takes care of quite a lot of airplanes here. Uh, we'll go say good day, see if we can put the airplane in the hangar for the, for the night. Alright, we're coming to around the hour, and what I'm going to do, I've been running uh, alternating fuel tanks uh, just so I can keep a good track and I can cross-check my fuel gauges as well, in addition to the first check that we do while filling it up. Uh, so now that the left one is still open, and I'm going to open the right one and open cross-check and exactly on the hour. So, that's good. So, we should have, should have uh, 60 minutes on... Minutes worth of fuel on each tank, so we're down 
uh, work it out and dip the tank, see if it works. And uh, yeah, that's something we do just for long flights, just so we know exactly how much how much time I got in each tank. Otherwise, the airplane does consume the the fuel fairly evenly on both tanks. Uh, however, it's just another good indication and a process to keep a good track on the amount of uh, of fuel we got. Thank you.